Hello everybody, so in today's video I'm gonna show you how to download, install and use continuity mod for Minecraft Java in 2025. So let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to your web browser and I will have links in the description if you need them, but simply go to your search bar and search up modwin like so. Once you're done, you should see a website called modwinth.com, simply click on modwinth and now you should be on the homepage for Modwint. All you have to do is go to the top of the website to discover content and go down to mods. Now go on search mods and type in continuity. Like so. And here you'll find continuity. Simply click the name and now you'll be sent to the homepage for continuity mod on Modwint. All you have to do is go to versions and select game versions and here you can easily choose the version that you want to play. So if we want the latest one for example, we'll just do 1.1.4 and then we have the one that we need to download. We will be using Fabric for this tutorial so make sure if you can choose the Fabric one but once you hover over it, you'll see a green download button so just click it. Okay, now we have continuity onto our computer. Now we need to check if we have any dependencies. To do this, you have to click on the version name and here we'll see dependencies, Fabric API. So you need to click Fabric API and now you'll find versions and go in game versions and select the game version that you have selected. And now select the release, so the green one, of Fabric API. You don't have to, but best practices. So simply click the download button. And also, Continuity is simply a mod that helps resource packs connect textures together or modify them when stuck close to another block. This means that yes, this mod has inbuilt resource packs, but if you want resource packs for this specific mod, I'll show you how to get just now. So what you want to do is simply go back to discover content and go down to resource packs and now you want to go and search resource packs and for example you have resource packs like connected paths and connected world so if you want these types of packs which works with the mod all you want to do is type in connected path and here we'll see connected paths so simply click on the name go to versions and just select the latest one it works fine and if we go back to resource packs, you can do the same thing for connected world. Now obviously there's more resource packs for this, it is just some examples that I have right here. Versions, and select the latest one, it's fine. So, now what you want to do is simply go and download Fabric Minecraft because we cannot run these two mods here if we don't have Fabric Minecraft. And to get Fabric Minecraft, simply go to a new tab and search up Fabric Minecraft. Like so. Once you're done, you should see FabricMC.net. Simply click on the name and now go on the blue download button and go on the download for Windows button. Now you have Fabric Installer, Resource Packs if you want, and the two required mods. So all you need to do here is simply close your web browser and now you can open up your downloads folder by accessing your file explorer and then your downloads folder. Now all you want to do is simply double click Fabric Installer, make sure that the Minecraft version is the same as the mods. If it is, just do install, OK, and close. Now you have to go to your Minecraft launcher and you'll want to wait for this one to load up because we need to add our resource packs and our mods to the .minecraft folder. Here we can see we have fabric loader, all good, and we simply need to go to installations on the top of the launcher, we need to hover over fabric and go to the folder icon. Now simply go to the mods folder, double click it, and then go to the downloads folder, select and copy the two mods, go back to your PS folder, 
and click paste. This top left arrow just helps you go back, pretty useful. And now all we need to do is simply go back to the top Minecraft folder. We need to go to resource packs, double click it, go to downloads, select and copy the resource packs, go back to your previous folder using this arrow and paste and there you go. So here we have two resource packs for example and two mods. Now simply go to your Minecraft launcher, go to play, make sure fabric loader is selected and click play. And now it's gonna start loading up Minecraft. Okay, so once we have Minecraft, all we have to do is simply go to a world, it can be anything, I'll just do a single player world for example. And now we have continuity on our Minecraft. Now to use it, it is quite simple, it requires texture packs and resource packs, and as we already have them, and as it comes with Minecraft, like the actual mod, I can show it. So, for example, to activate these resource packs, just do escape, options, resource packs, and we have all of these. These come with the mod, these are the ones we got. So, for example, if we just use the mod ones, nothing will change visually just here because it's mainly with glass. That's why we have other ones. So, here it connects the textures, like so. And if I turn it off, you'll see the difference. There you go. Here we have the actual blocks. So, for glass, having this default one here does help quite a lot. Because it just doesn't have any weird glitches and stuff. Because the thing with Minecraft glass is that it does have continuity mod technically, but not. So, for example, if I remove this, we won't be able to see the block coming in here, making it a bit weird to look at. So, what we can do now is activate the other resource packs, like this one. This one, both of these do the, basically the same thing, just have a different style. For example, here we, we don't really look at glass anymore, we just look at the actual floor. This makes it a bit more connected, a bit more realistic. Like so. And the other one is basically the same thing, but has a different style to it. I will have both of these in the description if you're interested, of course. And for the glass, for example, you can have this one and have the glass on top and this will do exactly that. It will have connected textures here and you will also have your glass like so. So yeah, in today's video, I showed you how to download, install and use continuity mod for Minecraft Java in 2025. So if you liked this video, make sure to like and subscribe and see you for the next one. Bye.